Hey babies, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm not alone. Hubby's here. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Basically, for today's video, it's gonna be so fun because for the first time ever, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up all the different things that I've been thrifting lately for the house because you guys don't understand how many amazing, incredible stuff I've been finding thrifted. We're still in lockdown here in Toronto, so unfortunately, I can't physically go into thrift stores just yet. Once they open up, we'll for sure be doing videos like that. But for now, I've just been browsing Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, and all of these other reselling apps and stores to get myself some secondhand vintage furniture that I could either just put up in my house or just get some spray paint, get some new fabric and just really make these items super, super cool. Hey, Ailey's like, head on. We have to get something from Facebook Marketplace and I was just like, are you gonna make me a sandwich? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'll come with you. So I made him a sandwich. We're good to go. And we're about to head on our way. And I can't wait to share these items with you guys. So for the space, I'm definitely envisioning a lot more boho, a lot more rattan and wicker and like natural wood. And that being said, one of the things on my list have been this rattan shelf. There are so many different variations of it that just make the house so much more cozy. And I'm just really, really obsessed with the texture of these cane drawers. So on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji to find this, I just went ahead and searched up wicker, rattan, cane anything along the lines of that and here's what we found first thing we're picking up is this rattan shelf these caning shelves are so expensive because they're all like handmade this is gonna be such a nice statement piece for either the living room or the studio I don't know yet um, I have to see the condition too oh you guys we secured it obviously it needs a little bit of cleaning here at the bottom because I think it was just in their basement for a while how gorgeous is this we're just keeping it here for now because there's nowhere else to keep it there is like one or two places where I have to go and just glue down little pieces that have come apart but that's what you get with vintage furniture it's still so worth it though like look at all of this amazing weaving and i love how unique this is like maybe this could even go in the kitchen we can keep all our like bread in here that would be a cute idea but i'm so obsessed this has been such an amazing find i've been really loving like vintage brass furniture that's something that's been on my list i have a mirror i'm obsessed with and something else i really wanted to find was like this old hollywood brass vanity headed on over to kijiji typed in brass vanity and this came up. Dang, you guys, we got our vanity set. And on, how good does this look? That's I great. mean, Love he doesn't he doesn't understand these things. I don't things, get it, Sabrina. She but, shows me you know, like, yeah, oh, it's just a It's table. like, oh my gosh, and like it's tinted glass and everything has a little pink cushion. I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful. This is literally like my ideal vanity. It's exactly what I was looking for. As you guys can see, it has like the brassing texture. There are some places that are kind of discoloring, but he just suggested to get Brasso and use that as a stain. And it actually apparently cleans brass really well. And then we have like the glass here that pops up and I actually love that it's tinted a little bit. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and put my makeup under here in like some nice cane boxes or something. Plus the chair, it's really a perfect size, super, super comfortable. Comfortable too and I love that whenever I'm not using it I could just really easily stack it away like that so I'm obsessed with this piece and we bought this entire set for just hundred and fifty bucks today I actually have another shipment coming oh, shipment it's a delivery it's a delivery from Facebook marketplace it is actually an incredible little brass bench that matches this set so perfectly from a completely different person and here it is it is this beautiful brass bench and you guys does this not look like it went with my vanity exactly it has the same arches the same lines even the pillows are the same color like what I am definitely picturing having this bench in like my new studio area you guys know where I have like the huge different windows I'm definitely going for like a more old-school traditional old Hollywood kind of vibe there next I headed on over I started browsing Facebook marketplace for some dining chairs we already have a dining table that we actually got from Ikea it's this really beautiful natural wood and the vision that I have for our dining room is somewhat like this I feel like the natural wood goes great with some black chairs and ideally I really wanted to find Find some black cane chairs and this is exactly where thrifting comes in handy i was just on the hunt to find chairs that i can go ahead diy and recreate them to make them look exactly like this so for the dining chairs i came across on pinterest these incredible rattan chairs that are like super popular they're very modern but they still kind of have a bit of that natural wood exposure so i found chairs so similar to that on facebook marketplace this is what they look like right now and honestly not into the blue cushions at all but the shape of them had so much potential so i'm gonna go ahead and do a thrift flip on these as well but i I absolutely love the potential of this so I'm gonna go ahead and obviously reupholster these because they're definitely not looking the greatest I'm gonna have to take off these cushions but then I'm gonna leave all this amazing cane weaving the same color it is and we're gonna go ahead and spray paint the outside black so the thing is with these chairs we obviously need to recushion them here at the bottom I can actually go and screw out a couple of the screws and then detach the cushion so then we can upholster them and spray paint them with the base not interfering with the cushion <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
after getting off all of the seats we have a nice clean base to start but obviously you want to go ahead and actually clean it because we are going to be spray painting we don't want any kind of grease to interfere with the bond of the spray paint so i'm just wiping these down with some lysol and then because i told you guys i want to leave the texture of the cane because it's just so gorgeous i'm just using some painter's tape and lining along every part of the chair that i do not want painted i put a paper in the middle just so we don't waste a ton of tape but this was a really nice secure method for us to be able to keep the cane intact and looking beautiful all right y'all this is what our night is consisting of i'm working on the tape in of the chair we're literally watching the bachelor and Ellen is helping me with the diys my little cutie pie basically we wanted to take out the staples but it was being like really difficult so i think we're really gonna just cut along the upholstery just like this Ellen and i removed all the upholstery on the chair so we can go and reupholster them new mommy's here she's helping me spray paint right now we're doing the first coat on these chairs right here the dining room chairs we're gonna do a thin coat and then we're gonna let it kind of dry for a little bit. This is the paint we're using. It's the Rustalem Black Farmhouse matte paint, and it's so good. Look how satisfying. Oh, yeah. Especially when spray painting furniture, something you gotta keep in mind is you don't wanna be doing thick layers. Obviously, you'll finish quicker that way, but you're gonna get a lot of drippage. So I think I did about two or three different coats with the chairs in different positions in order for us to be able to cover everything nicely and evenly. All right, y'all, so it's about two days later. So this is the progress. The bottom of the chairs are like fully, fully done. And today I'm just gonna do the final finishing touches because as you can see, there's some places that are still missed. Obviously, we didn't spray paint these parts because they're gonna be covered by a cushion anyway. So didn't wanna waste spray paint for that. And then I'm gonna go pick up the cushions for my uncle. My uncle here has literally all the professional tools. So he's putting everything together for us and it's gonna look so nice when it's done. Here's a little hack. If you want your cushions to get fluffier, use a steamer. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, uncle coming in with the hacks. All right, you guys, pillow cushions are all ready. I'm gonna go and add them to the new chairs right now. I heard that the best way to do this is to kind of have the chairs upside down on the table. Dang. It went through? Yeah, it went through. I wish that this head was longer. You could <laughs> make it longer. I'm pretty much just gonna attach all the pillows and then show you guys the final result. Eek! Okay, right behind me. Are you guys ready for the dining chair update? So freaking gorgeous. Can we please, please put up a photo of what this chair looked like before? This black spray paint, you guys, the farmhouse black is incredible. It gives it such a nice finish where you have a little bit of the gloss, but it's not like overbearing at all. And the black contrast with the cane looks so amazing together. The pillow, super fluffy. Now it's nice and light and white to match the light cream tones that we're going to have in the house. As for the price of these chairs, I got all six of them, including two armchairs for $200. And then to upholster and do the spray paint, I ended up maybe investing another 20 bucks into each chair i showed you guys so many different pictures of what i envisioned for the kitchen we want to have a really nice big island with some beautiful natural wood counter stools some keywords i used to search here were just counter stools wicker stools rattan chairs anything along the lines of that we're actually going to be doing an island in the kitchen and we need a chairs that were a little bit higher so swivel chairs and counter chairs in general go for at least 150 to 200 dollars each she sold us five for 200 we have all of the swivel chairs here in the back this is what they're currently looking like not crazy about the fabric over here and I actually don't like the fact that first of all they're polished I prefer matte and they're actually kind of like a yellowy hue which I'm not crazy about either they swivel which is amazing so these are like super good quality and as you can see they have the whole caning at the bottom which is kind of what you see at those like old-school restaurants oh okay no it's coming out we're good we're good we're good all right detach the pillow one down five more to go Drop your pants. <laughs> <laughs> As you saw these chairs before, just kind of have this like yellowy tint that I'm not so crazy about. What I actually decided to do is to go ahead and use some sandpaper to sand down the polish. Here's kind of like the difference of one that I started. So this was the before. As you can see, it's kind of like shiny and has that yellowy more finish. And then once you start sanding it, it kind of brings out the shine. It makes it a little bit more rustic, which I'm more into. Basically, the trick is for all the beginners, um, if it looks like your chair needs some lotion, like some moisturizing, then you're doing a good job. That's what basically this will look like. It's got some dry skin. Uh, dry skin basically. Pretty much. Once all the polish was sanded off, I was ready to wipe them down and get ahead to staining. So this is a stain that I used. It is the early American shade. I really love it so much and applying stain is super easy. You just dip in your paper towel and you glide it across the wood. But I think I just did one to two coats in this case because we really only wanted to give it a subtle hint of color. But with the white cushion, these are going to look so, so, so good. So I'll check back in with you guys once I add the cushion. 
these are what they end up looking like after we restain them they are honestly just a shade or two darker than they were before plus because we did the sanding we have more of this added wood grain which we didn't have before which I like and because we also stained it the finish of the chairs is now matte instead of glossy which I prefer so much more but this detailing on the back is stunning we reupholstered the pillow in the same fabric that we did the dining chairs the only thing I'm starting to realize right now about the legs is that these are actually bar stools and we need counter stools so I may have to ask my uncle to go and trim these off make them a little bit shorter so that they can fit our counter height plus they also swivel which is amazing and when you guys see the island this is gonna be the back of the chairs that you're gonna see so it's gonna look so good as for the price of these chairs we ended up getting five of them for $200 and I'm only gonna need three for the size of my island so I'm actually selling the two other chairs that I have at $50 a piece because that's personally what I feel like they should go for so I basically got all these counter stools for just a hundred bucks which I, I, I gotta say I'm proud of pat on the back <laughs> all right you guys and that is everything for today's video I hope that you enjoyed this whole come thrift with me even though we cannot thrift in stores and obviously thrifting in stores can sometimes be cheaper browsing on sites like Kijiji and Facebook marketplace is the best option right now especially with COVID and all these restrictions going on curbside pickup is a beautiful thing I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you like these DIYs as well be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did comment down below which of these finds are your favorite are you more into like the cane and the wooden boho are you more into like the old Hollywood a brassy vintage look. I'm really curious what your aesthetic is. I just can't wait to start styling these pieces in the new house. Obviously, be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below to join along our amazing journey. We are two days away from completing our kitchen, so that's gonna be the next video. It's gonna be from beginning to end our entire kitchen remodel. So stay tuned for that video. I know a lot of you guys are eager to see what our new kitchen is gonna look like. And with all that, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!